GT300 series occupancy sensors are Wattstopper's most popular sensors on the market today. Today we're going to show you how to configure your devices so that they have the optimum settings for your application. The most common question that comes up following the installation of the DT300 series occupancy sensor is, how do I adjust the time delay and sensitivity of the product to my liking? To make adjustments, remove the cover of the occupancy sensor. You'll notice once removed, the full set of adjustable set points behind the cover. The ultrasonic sensitivity trim pot will be visible just to the right of your dip switches and can be adjusted by turning clockwise for increased sensitivity or counterclockwise for decreased sensitivity. Please be sure not to over torque your device when adjusting. The default ultrasonic sensitivity is set to 50% as it is appropriate for most applications. The dip switches allow for the adjustment of the time delay as well as other possible set point adjustments on the product. Notice that dip switches 1 through 3 on the product allow for adjustment of the time delay specifically. Those adjustments can be made from 30 seconds all the way up to 30 minutes. Another common question is with regard to the adjustment of how the two technologies work together, PIR and ultrasonic. Wattstopper's DT series dual technology sensors allow for eight different trigger modes to ensure the lights are only on when they are meant to be. The standard or default operating mode requires that both technologies, passive infrared and ultrasonic, detect in order to turn the lights on initially and either technology to re-trigger occupancy once the lights are already on. Those adjustments can be made on dip switches 6, 7, and 8. Thank you for watching. Please visit wattstopper.com for complete product information and links to additional how-to videos.